today's game? You know, I um, listen. We've got to figure out some pitching problems. We're uh, we're not stopping anybody in conference, and um, you know, it's a six straight Division One game. We've given up uh, double-digit runs, and um, I think we put on 16 free base runners today. And you know, until we get our, our pitching figured out, we're going to be in for a long season. tough. I knew we had some arms out there. I mean, obviously, you're not uh, hoping to make any changes in the first inning, but the other thing was is, you know, uh, at some point, we've got to stop people from scoring. I mean, we're not going to be able to put up a huge amount of runs all the time, and um, you know, a guy has got to go out there and stop people, and you know, I didn't like that he was walking people. I didn't like that um, he'd hit a guy. He only had one pitch in play at the time, his fastball, and you know, he'd just gotten hit on the previous pitch, and you know, you've got to come in pitch better. And, uh, you know, I thought the guys that came out of the bullpen was a good day. But, I mean, it was, uh, you know, it's a tough day all around. Everybody's just got to pitch better. We just got to do better. Coach, uh, Jared Hammer, two for three on the day and three RBIs. First two plate appearances were RBI doubles each. Uh, how, how good is it to see him start hitting his stride from the uh, offensive side of things? You know, it's great. And to be honest, he's the guy right now. I mean, we only have one guy in the lineup that I think is a run driver in, and uh, that's Hammer. And, uh you know, besides him, it's uh, pick and choose your offense, and you never know where we're going to get offense from any given day. And, you know, at least Hammer in the last six to seven games has been able to be counted on. And, um, you know, we need more guys to be able to be counted on. Is there any injury there with uh, Justin the first that got off his leg? Or you know, I, to be honest, I didn't want him to get hit again. He only had one pitch in play, and this team's had hit his fastball as good as anybody this weekend. And, um, you know, to be honest, if that ball goes up the middle, I would have probably taken him out. So just because it hit him and gotten an out, I didn't think he deserved to stay in. So, um, you know, we need just better performances. On that, oh, sorry, that, that pass ball, or the, you know, the pickoff attempt that got passed, there was some confusion there. What was exactly what happened there? What happened was is uh, at first they, they thought it was a balk, and then they said it was a live ball. and. It went in and they thought um, it was the base you were going to in the next base. But what the rule is, is if the pitcher is still engaged with the mound, he only gets one base. And so since it was on that type of pick, he only gets one base. So it was the right call. Coach, you look ahead, you have a non-conference game against Fordham Wednesday, and then you play URI this this coming weekend. Uh, what do you guys have to do to come out and, and, and just change things and, and come out and get some wins? You know, what we need to change is um, we got to figure out what we're going to do with the pitching. Um, you know, I know a lot of guys need to make mechanical adjustments for sure. I, you know, I thought Jesh and Barbs and Tees, I didn't really like what I saw from them mechanically today. Um, you know, Kaz is a little bit off. Uh, you know, yesterday Verbitsky's off on his mechanics. And, you know, somewhere along the last two weeks, we've just gotten off stride mechanically. So the good thing is, is that stuff that I think can definitely be fixed. You know, the bad thing is, is, you know, we need to fix it pretty quickly. Now I'm happy that we play URI next weekend, so you know, not to ever want to give any games away, but we've got to get things figured out on the pitching mound, or we're going to be in a lot of trouble come CAA play. Coach, if anything, with how you guys finished last year and how you guys were expected early on, you know, despite some injuries, of course, right? Is this a shock to you and your clubhouse at 0 and 6 to start CAA play? It is. I mean, you know, we're we're six outs away from being two and four, you know, so it, it's not. Um, that terrible you know James Madison's turning out to be a little bit of the real thing you know they put up 17 opening night on Wilmington on the next Friday so you know Madison's turning out to be a pretty good team and you know you play an inspired you know Towson team that you know has nothing to lose because they already lost it I mean they lost their program so you know they're playing really inspired baseball and you know to be honest you just wanted to hope to scrap for some wins and you know I thought we had a chance to win yesterday for sure and um you know, if we could have just shut them out at any point today, you know, I thought we could have done some damage. We got into their bullpen, and we just weren't ever to stop them. So, uh, you know, until, we, until we're able to stop teams, we're not going to win many games. Uh, that's the bottom line. I, as much as we scored eight runs today, I think eight runs is enough to win.